Good morning and welcome to Digging the Course 365. Today we're at Davis Moores in Troy. Davis Moores! <laughs> I think he's trying to say Davis Moors. Davis Moors Moore in Truro. It's it's like a long skinny you can get, take your arm away now. It's like a long skinny stretch of about four fields, woodland, woodland, trees, deep digger down and trees get along very, very well. There's a viaduct running through it. Um, there's been a Chinese coin found here by Lee, yep, which he gave to me. He gave to me after seeing how excited I was when I found one the other week. He gave me it. I'll try and remember to put that in a video for you so you can see it. It's square. It's a square coin. Very nice. And it's bigger than yours. It's bigger than mine. Yes, it is bigger than mine. Trying to beat me already, and we haven't even started. Uh, you found a ring, did you say? Yep, found a gold ring. Gold ring. Because there's a footpath which goes all the way through. Uh, buzzing. Looking forward to this, are you? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to beat you. You're not going to beat me. What, what, what's the challenge for the day then? What do you want? Best Is... relic today. Best relic? Yep. Whether okay. A ring or I win. Look bar. what I've just found. <laughs> Look at that for a relic. Okay, let's do this. Can't wait. First thing uh, Lee's found, he found a farthing here. So that's an old coin and an old coin there which you can't make out. I just found a ring pole and I'm guessing that is a, an old half penny because it's very small. Good start, good start. What was the challenge of the day? To find the best relic and like literally less than 10 minutes in, Dan, yes. So far, you are in the lead. How do you know I'm in the lead, Lee? <laughs> well, you've just uncovered a very nice button. Oh, right. I didn't even know that myself. Let's have a look. Oh, you're right, Lee. You're right, Lee. Look what I've just found. Look what I've just found. Look at that for a button. Now, I saw that and I thought it was Prince of Wales. But Lee seems to think it's something to do with the Scouts. It's got gold gilding on there. It's not brass, I don't think. I think that's gold gilding. It's got writing around the edge, I'm pretty sure. I can't wait to clean that up, get excited, and just turn round to Lee and say, <laughs> I won. For a minute you've won. <laughs> I've only been doing it for about four minutes and I've just found the second relic of the day. And it's better than the first relic of the day. It's like the best relic of the day. Lee, I'm going to stuff you. Are you ready for this? Where are I? Here. I've not looked at it. I've only seen as much as you, apart from I've seen the other side. Look at that. It's a cap badge or a military... Well, it's not a cap... I don't know. It's got a prong on there. But it looks on the front. It's got a snake, so that would tell me that it's actually a... Scout. Uh, no, it's a, a medic badge, basically. A medic it's, badge? Yeah, it would have been for... Uh, that's what I, I've been told. If that's a snake, it's a medic badge, possibly. Okay. That's what it looks like. A medic badge, maybe a wartime medic badge. It is, yes. I would, I think it's actually World War II. It's probably... It, it is. It's a snake. It's a snake. <laughs> a World War II uh, medic's badge. Five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> you can keep gloating. I will beat you. I'm not gloating. I'm just yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah, you look happy. Keep looking at me. Let's hope the wind doesn't change or your face end up staying like that. <laughs> right, let's move on. Buzzing. So I just found the fantastic gold, uh, gold plated button up there. I just found the cap badge medic thing there. I just found something here. I just saw it was a silver coin and I just threw it down. I'm scared to go back, to be honest. I'm just, if I get any more exciting, excited, uh, I'm going to struggle today. Now, I need to find it again. I've no idea what it was. It looked like quite a big silver coin. I'm going to need my pinpointer again. I literally just threw it, threw it in, back down. There, 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 there. Look, you don't get more silver than that. That's a silver coin. That is a nice silver. One shilling, 1927. Beautiful. Look at that king smiling at us. Look at him. Look at him. Uh, 1927 were the full silver then. I'm not sure. 
I don't care to be honest, it's got silver in it, it's a coin and it was found by me and not Lee. Lee is just, where Lee's standing at the moment, he actually found a silver coin there once upon a time but right it wasn't here. today. A 1922 sixpence. 1922 sixpence, well this is a shilling, in fact a sixpence is worth more than a shilling isn't it? And yours were old, alright yours were better but you didn't find right, it today. The only thing which looks good about Lee at the moment is the viaduct behind him. <laughs> and now we have a pocket watch. A nice pocket watch but it really is too dirty to show you much. But you can see the lovely design on it there. Nice, nice pocket watch. I'm loving this, I really am. Back in my element, I just adore woods nature, metal and Lee at the moment believe it or not another nice old relic here not intact but uh, still very nice and ornate they always are another oil lamp I found one last week remember you see the decoration on them they're always very very beautiful to look at yeah very nice happy with that Anything to do with the woods and children being happy makes me happy. We're in the woods and a child's been here with a little truck of some kind. Quite like that, it could be very old. It's very, very brittle, so I'm guessing it is old. Very nice. You can't have a deep digger dan video without a, a D off an old buckle. I'm almost right underneath this uh, viaduct now and I'm just thinking things might have been thrown over there I don't think there's a pedestrian access, I don't think there ever was but you know if trains went, it is for trains if trains go over people might throw things out of the train windows I, I don't know, you never know do you? Okay Charlene at Field House Nursery or whatever it's called the dental place where you rip people's teeth out and hurt them and stuff Look what I've just found, Sensodyne Total Care. I don't go to the dentist, Charlene, I'll be honest with you. I find you all very, very scary. Um, and this, this is a fish hook disgorger thing. Again, to do with the mouth. You stick it in the mouth and it takes the hook out of the fish when you've caught it. Um, made of metal, so it's an old one, because they make them of plastic now, because they don't hurt the fish as much. I know that, because I'm a professional. And because he told me. I knew that anyway. You're not going to believe what I just found. I found a spear. A spear head. Head off a spear from, I don't know, Viking times or something. How amazing. Look at that. What do you think? Do you agree? I don't think it's a spear head, no. I think it's actually went onto the farmer's gate to stop anyone from trespassing into their field because this field did belong to a farmer before it was given to Troy City Council. It's a so, spear shape. No, no, it's definitely a climb that gate and you're going to rip your uh, trousers. Found a spear. <laughs> Come on, get in. Relic of the day. Woohoo! Just jealous, just jealous. Just down by the river here. Is it a river, Lee? It is a river. It is a river. And I'd love to get in there. And Lee's planning on doing so when he gets a waterproof detector. But if I had my XP Deus with me now, which I haven't brought here today, I'd have actually gone in there and just done this very, very shallow bit. Um, but I didn't. I brought the one I can't put down, so... Not that I'm saying XP Deus is a waterproof. If you've got one, don't do it. It's just mine hasn't got a control box, so I can drop that in and all the electrics in the headphones on mine. I've just found my first musket ball. Um, I think it's a musket ball anyway. It's heavy, it's lead, and it's round. But there's a lot of trash in this field, as you can see. Bits of crockery and plates and things. I think there's been some kind of building in here at one point. Very trashy, hard to find a good signal, but... Uh, yep, that's a good sign. Lee, what do you want? You found a relic? I have, yeah. What is it? Is it a, a tin lid again? I, I, I would say it's a, maybe a, a leaf off of um, Caesar's belt. 
a leaf off Caesar's belt. What a Caesar salad. Oh, what is it? What is it? Oh my god. Yeah, oh my quite heavy, god. Quite good. Look at that. Oh, it's like a big Canadian leaf almost. It's not relic of the day though, mate. I'm sorry. It's it's not bad. As far as leaves is, go, that's it's, a good it's leaf. A, it's a start. Yeah, it's a start. It is a start. Yeah, I'm happy for you, but it's... You know what that's off? What's that off? It's off like a top of a farmer's gate post. Oh, is it? Right, yeah. right, okay. Yeah, that's all it I is. It it's nothing special. A, um, a rare spearhead. No, no. You know, you no. Know, spearheads don't look like that. Right, right. Spearheads would just be that bit. But it might have been an ornate spearhead. Yeah, but it's not. It's just you off the like, top yeah. of a farmer's... Fence oh, no, post no, or something. It's an all-night spearhead, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Well, well done, but yeah. Uh, yeah, not really what we're after. <laughs> I might add this into the video, I don't know, I don't know if it's really worth it, but uh, <laughs> yeah, not bad. I have just found which could be the best condition I've ever seen a coin of this age in. It looks amazing, take a look. Look at the condition of that. I've not even touched it, that's how it came out. Uh, let's get that out and see what the other side is like. Look at that! How beautiful and green is that? Just that middle bit spoils it. 1944, half penny. Absolutely stunning! And another one, 1924. Absolutely perfect condition, look at that! A 1921, apart from this side, now I don't know if I did that with the spade, I'm hoping not. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you why they are in such good con good condition. It's very clay, it's quite boggy in this field, um, and clay helps to preserve the coins. That is beautiful. Just a very quick update on how the charity is going. Now I can't remember where I said we were up to yesterday, so I'm just going to have to guess that Paul Howie donated £10, John £15, Artie $10, Filippo €100, Euros. well done pal, Duran Mace £10 and uh, £20 from Lee Rutter. Thank you very much Lee Rutter. You're welcome. Um, yeah, that's all his donations in the last 24 hours and we are now up to £21,621. We want more, we want more, don't we, Lee? Lots more. Yeah, so start donating. Click on the links in the description and go to diggingthecoast.com. Well, I found two good coin spills yesterday. I've just found that, again, lovely and well-preserved. They're getting older, they're getting older. That's 1910. Is it a different king? No, nope, same king, I think. 1910. There's still something in there. Um, let's see if I can do it live. Please be another coin spill. It would be nice. But it's full of junk and, you know, bits of uh, metal all over. and Something there. I'm going to have to get my hand mucky for you, aren't I? There. Another coin. Be quiet, pinpointer. I think my batteries are going. Another one. What year are you? 1967. Wow. 1910 and 1967 coin in the same hole. Oh. And there's more. I'll come back to you guys. It was just a piece of iron, so just the two coins in that hole. Starting to rain. Few black clouds overhead. Wasn't forecast. Stopped for lunch. This isn't the back of my car, by the way, this disgusting mess. Uh, look what we're having. Christmas quiche. Christmas quiche, what's in it? Stuffing, obviously. Well, stuffing, by the taste of it, uh, chicken, bacon. Chicken, bacon. Cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce. Eggs. Eggs. Uh, Are you sure it's not turkey? And not, not, uh, well, it could be turkey. Must be turkey. And... Broccoli. Broccoli? Broccoli. Is it nice? Very. Yeah. Very tasty. Good. Looking forward to this. 
this is the badge I found and we've just been cleaning it up a little bit and Leah's found it on the internet Royal Army Medical Corps World War One Royal Army badge get in how fantastic am I basically the badge is alright but I found it so we just had a quiche as Christmas quiche and it was absolutely gorgeous Lee He's a bit of a cook, he thinks. I don't think he's much of a deep-fried Dan, but he reckons he can cook. He says he's going to make us a quiche for tomorrow. That'll be interesting. Um, right, back to business. Uh, first signal in this field. And I found that, and I thought, mm, that round thing at the top, it looks like it is something. And then I thought, is it a key? Is it a key? And there was still a signal in there, and indeed... It's a set of keys, look. A set of keys. And I even have, if I can find it, there. I even have the key ring part snapped, which is why they lost it. So Lee's hard at it there with his Snoop Doggy Dog jeans on. Um, I've just had a cracking little find here. Let me just uh, zoom back out. We're nearly ready to go now, guys. But I found the oldest coin of the day, of my day. Um, 1860-something it is. A young head Victoria. Very nice. And it's just opposite where I found the great things at the beginning of the video, which were on the other side. Because we've done the other places, and uh, I thought, I want to go back there and just go over it again. Glad I did now. But yeah, we're going to be going very soon. It's starting to get dark because it's almost the shortest day of the year, which is on, oh, it's on Wednesday, I believe, the 21st of December, which actually, that's the same day as my birthday. Yeah, um, I'm 27 on uh, on Wednesday. Don't forget, keep your birthday cards coming, people, to deepdiggerdan at hotmail.co.uk. Okay, time for a quick roundup. How do you think you've done, uh, oh, I've Lee? Done, I've done really well, yeah. Especially with that. Uh, with the relics and that, yeah. yeah? That, that, that uh, ornate spearhead, yeah. Okay. I, I think I've done a real good job. Okay, well, let's let's see if the proof is in the pudding, shall we? Um, start with me, really. Um, there's all my coins. These are the older ones, so I've got six, seven, eight old coins. That's my oldest 1860s. One of them is silver. You know, oil lamps, bits of toys, just special things, a musket ball, uh, two pen knives, a buckle, a spoon, keys. Still not sure what that is. Uh, I'll try and find out later. But it's beautiful, very beautiful. And my find of the day, my relic of the day, I would have to say, is this, which is a World War, what is it? It's a World War World I. World War One. Med Corps badge. World War One Med Corps badge. Yeah. Now, yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, like, it's, not, it's not bad, yeah. Okay, yeah. let's. Shall yeah. we see what you found today? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Got a nice uh, bit of ironworks from the railway. Yeah. That, uh, put Scrap iron. In. Yeah. Scrap Some iron. Bits pipes. of lead. A dog tag. Yeah. Uh, paperwork in it. Yeah. Car key. Okay, key, some yeah. Some nice coins. A few coins, a few yeah. Nice old ones. Yeah. Old harmonica reed. Yeah, some reed, you think. Nice uh, bit of a lock. Bit of a lock, yeah. A, um, a voxel. That's probably worth a tenner. Like it says on the back. £10 reward. Yeah, not bad. If, if not it, bad. If the car's still registered. Okay. That's exactly but, what it says. But listen, we're not doing this for money today. But, we're doing it to see who's got the best but relic. The £10 could go to the charity. Well, I don't, yeah. I don't think it'll yeah. happen. I don't yeah. think it'll happen. Yeah. Uh, a beautiful, beautiful old. An ugly dog. 1920s badge. dog yeah, badge. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice old one. Yeah. And some leaf. Yeah. What's that's it. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, bit mate, but I think I've beaten you today. Yeah, that's that's two nil. Yeah. Two nil. Yeah. So you are definitely, without a doubt, 100 percent the winner, Dan. Okay. So absolutely stuffed Lee um, at metal detecting for the second day. I hope you enjoyed me stuffing Lee at metal detecting for the second day. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be going metal detecting with Lee, where I'm going to stuff him for the third day. So join us then on Digging the Coast 365. If you'd like to donate to Rays of Sunshine, simply click the link in the description below.
and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.